Hi guys, girls and people with alternative pronouns and welcome to Ray's Painting Place and in this episode we're going to be painting one of these guys. Okay, so here's our miniature. Um, it's all um, primed. I've sprayed him up with Army Painter uh, Uniform Grey. Um, quick blast of that, not too much. Um, it's, to be honest, it's so similar to the, the base plastic colour that you can probably hardly, hardly tell the difference, but still. Um, he is primed and ready to go. Uh, the first colour that we're going to be using is the, um, they're all Vallejo colours. There's a couple of Army Painter washes, but other than that, Vallejo. Uh, the first colour up is the German Car Camouflage Extra Dark Green. Um, I'll be putting all of the paint numbers up with the video so don't worry too much but this is the first color now this is going to be a, a very simple base coat it's a whole miniature absolutely everything usually gets it because it's quicker that way um, you can avoid the uh, areas that we're going to be painting later if you want um, but I usually find that slows me down so generally speaking I'm just splatted on and um, you know I'll, tidy things up as we're going along because as the extra colors go on uh, they're going in sequence mm. so you should end up with everything being tidied up as you go along so you can be a little bit messy to start with so i'm going to do that i'll paint it all up with um with that green and then um i'll show you what it looks like um the next color to go on uh, now that all the green's done is the flesh tone um, this is medium flesh tone again it's all Vallejo stuff and the only thing you need to be aware of here is that you don't want to get it on the uniform you, you can pretty much you can pretty much get it anywhere else you like but don't get it on the uniform because if you do you have to go back and tidy it up so you can get it on the gun and you can get it on the webbing because those things are, are going to be painted uh, later on with other colours. But see there's his arm here, I hope you can see that. His arm here, you want to avoid that. But obviously you're okay here, uh, you're okay here, you're okay a lot of places. Oh, little hairs on my brush, that's very annoying. Um, but um, yeah, just... Avoid the main uniform. Uh, try and keep that tidy uh, to avoid having to go back and clean it up. Um, one point, this guy's got a Bren gun, so it's not as relevant. But if he was holding a rifle, you you should not worry about getting the flesh colour on the wood of the rifle. You would actually want to paint the wood of your rifle flesh colour. I know that sounds weird, but I can show you a little bit of it here on, on the on the on the butt end of, of the the brain gun here. This wooden butt of the gun. Um, we're going to be putting a nice wood grain effect on that much later, but it works great over uh, flesh tone. So, because the arms are often wrapped right around the gun, and you know, as you might expect, uh, you don't need to kill yourself trying to separate the two things. You can paint. You know, the whole, if that was wood, you know, you can paint all that flesh tone as well. Because it'll save you some time later. Um, you, there's no need to go back and paint it uh, either a separate colour um, as a base coat for the wood grain. Or if you're going to paint it brown or something like that. I don't really like brown for rifles, but um, I'll show you how we do that, the wood. Unfortunately, I'm in a small space, but there, the principle's the same. Um, so... I'm going to paint uh, all the flesh on this guy. His face and his arms are exposed. If he had shorts on, don't forget to do his knees and that. His legs. Uh, and I'll come back to you when 
when I'm done. Okay, the flesh is base coated. Um, I actually ended up putting two coats on that just to make sure that it was a nice solid colour, which it is, this is good. Um, the next thing to do is the webbing, which is all the straps and pouches, uh, the backpack, um, the underneath where the entrenching tool is, the water bottle, all that kind of thing. So again, I'll make a start on that. I'm using um, Vallejo um, Green Grey for that, not to be confused with grey green at all. <coughs> not confusing at all. This is green grey and um, yeah, we're we'll cracking on with that and I'll come back to you when that's done. Um, so we're really a little bit fiddly now because uh, we don't want to get the green grey onto the, again, the main uniform colour. Now obviously we don't want to get it onto the flesh. So again, take your time, um, take it steady. If you do make a mistake, then at the end of the pass, go back over with the with the, um, uh, the colour that you've, you've splat on, whether it's the skin colour or the dark green. Just go back, tidy it up, and um, uh, you should be good to go. So I'll do the webbing, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Okay, the webbing is uh, all complete now. Uh, got the gun strap. Uh, shoulder straps and of course all his gear at the back uh, all nicely done uh, I've splodged along the way so a bit of tidying up as well um, but nothing too bad um, the next colour is black grey it's not as harsh as uh, standard black um, with a little bit more leeway in it um, when we wash it later so that's next that's the metal of the gun which is nearly all of it, and um, the boots. So I'll be doing that, and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, the black grey is done. Uh, the boots and the gun, and the blanket in the backpack, which I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, that's done. Um, next colour now is uh, yellow olive, and that's for the helmet. Just the helmet. Okay, so I'll quickly do that and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, the helmet is uh, done. Um, next colour is English uniform, and that is the anklets at the bottom, uh, the uh, water bottle itself, leaving the straps, of course, leaving the webbing, and the strap on the helmet is also going to be uh, English uniform so not much but a bit fiddly uh, I'll do that and uh, I'll see you in a minute right the English uniform is done uh, like I said earlier a little bit fiddly but um, you know take your time get there uh, the next stage is the washes and I'm going to put all three washes on um, the, there's dark tone wash and that goes over everything which is currently black grey uh, there's the flesh wash which goes over everything which is currently uh, skin tone and um, the English uniform bits also get a wash of that and then everything else gets the army painter military shader which is sort of green really um, and um, that goes over the uniform, it goes over the webbing. Um, everything that doesn't get washed by either of the other two gets washed with that, basically. So I'll do that washing, <laughs> I'll do the washing, and um, I'll show you the results. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, so that's all the base coat's done. Uh, he's looking pretty smart now, the washes have dried. Um, it's brought out the detail beautifully, so it's all ready for the top coats, and we'll be doing the top coats uh, in the next video. So, um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed yourself. Uh, if you've got any questions, put it in the comments below, and uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you very much.